I've got the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus right here. And even though I can't install it through the Play Store by default, today I'm going to show you how to install Google's phone dialer application on multiple Samsung Galaxy devices, whether it is the Samsung Galaxy Note series, the Samsung Galaxy S series, um, I know one of the methods works on the Samsung Galaxy A series. Since all of these devices are running the newer One UI 2.0 Plus, these methods should all work on all of those devices. So again, no matter if it's the Galaxy S8, S9, S10, S20, or the Note 9, Note 10, this is how you can install Google Dialer on your device. So the first method I want to show you is not going to require root access. So you do not need to have root installed. And it's not the full Google Dialer that we can install if we don't have root access. But we're going to be installing the Go version of that dialer and the go version does not and the reason why we can do that is because the go version does not require the Google dialer framework and I'm going to show you how to install that in the next part of this video for those of you who have root access we can install a Magisk module that will allow us to install Google Dialer directly from the Play Store. So first, again, I want to show you this, this method right here will work for all Samsung devices, even if you don't have root access. This will work if you have root access as well, but even if you do not have root access, you can download this APK, and I grabbed this from APK Mirror, a website run by the folks over at Android Police. I will link to this download in the full tutorial which you can find in the video description down below. Once you have downloaded this APK you can actually just open it from Chrome but I'm just in uh, Solid Explorer so I'm gonna open it from Solid Explorer and I'm gonna install it using the package installer. So what we're doing here is we are just side loading this APK. This is a Go version of Google Dialer. And since it does not require that framework, we can just simply side load it and it will work. You can see it says application installed. So once the, cap, uh, the application is installed, you can open it from the app drawer or we can just tap open to open it. And by default, we're going to get this message, even though, at least in my testing, I tested this last night and it worked flawlessly, um, it's going to bring up that message because our phone does not have the pixel profile, which is actually what I'm going to show you how to bypass in the second part of this video for Magisk users. But we can just tap anywhere to bypass that message and we can still use the phone like normal. However, you, sh you are going to see these permissions not working right. And you can go through and tap that one by one. Or we can go into the application page within the settings to manually en enable them. So we do that by opening up the settings application scrolling down to you see the apps section and then you can either search at the top or you can just scroll down until you see the phone application now the Samsung phone one is going to by default it's going to have that blue icon it's going to look different than or the green icon it's going to look different than the phone icon here but this could change depending on which theme you have installed if you have a Samsung theme app but Google's phone dialer app 
uses the blue icon that we can tap in here and then tap on permissions. And then we just go through and enable all of these permissions that you specifically want your dialer to have. If you don't want the dialer to know your location, you don't have to grant that permission, but you will miss out on one of the Google features. So now you can see that I've enabled all of the permissions for that app. And then I can open it and then you will no longer have those messages. So while we are in the application page, we can tap on the three dot menu at the top right and tap on settings. And remember, this is the Go version of the app. So we can see that we're able to enable caller ID and spam features that are usually only available for Pixel devices on um, for people who are using the Google Dialer application, even for near, nearby places. And speaking of nearby places, one of the features is being able to search instead of going through and finding a Google, Google page for it. No. For those who have installed Majisk on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone, we're actually able to not settle for the Go version of the Google Dialer application. Like I told you before, the Google Dialer app is not able to be installed and it's not able to run on Samsung devices because it is reliant on the Google Dialer framework. This means this application just requires another app or another set of services in order to run. Thankfully, if we have Magisk Manager installed, we can install a module that should install that framework on your device very quickly and easily. So for people who have root, we can open up Magisk Manager, tap on the hamburger menu at the top left and then tap on downloads. It's going to connect us to the repository for Magisk modules. We're going to tap on the search icon at the top right and search for Google Dialer. You can see the developer TJJ has created a Magisk module named Google Dialer Framework that is going to install this framework onto our device. Not only that, with the latest version of this, it's also going to add the Pixel Experience features to this device. And here we have some basic instructions that I'm actually going to show you how to do but it's right there for anybody who wants to reference them in Majisk. So we're going to tap on that download arrow, tap on install. It takes very quickly to install. Instead of tapping the reboot icon down here though, I'm going to just shut the phone down. And I'm gonna do that because I want the phone to load with Majisk and for the phone to boot up with Majisk loaded, I need to press and hold these buttons as if you know most Majisk users are aware of this on Samsung devices now. I do I could be installing a custom kernel to bypass this whole activation issue, but I'm not wor not too worried about it. I don't reboot my phone that often, and when I do, I don't mind just shutting it down. So now that we have installed that Majisk module and we have rebooted our Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, we're going to go into Majisk and make sure that module is loaded. So we are booted back up into Android. I have opened up Majisk Manager. We're going to go back into that hamburger menu and tap on Downloads. 
I'm sorry, tap on modules. And again, we're just going to check to make sure that that is installed properly and that check, box, that check mark is there to make sure that it is enabled properly. So now that we have installed that Medjisk module, we need to download the actual APK file for the full version of the Google Dialer application. And then we're going to open it up. Again, we can open that up through Chrome if we wanted to, or we can install it through your file manager of choice. And now that now we're getting this app installed message specifically because we installed that Magisk module, you can try to sideload this APK alone before using that if you wanted to. And I tried, believe me, but it gives you an app is not installed message. And just like before, when I showed you how to sideload the Go version, whenever we open that application up, we're going to need to enable the permissions before we see all of our stuff there. The last thing I want to show you today, no matter if you installed the Go version or the full version, so no matter if you have root or if you do not have root, after you have sideloaded that application, we're going to want to set that Google phone dialer application to default. And we do that by searching for default apps within the settings app. And when we get to the default apps page, you can see there's going to be a phone option here. We just tap the phone option. And again, remember Google is using the blue icon. So we're going to be tapping on the blue phone application right there. At least for now, in the future, Google could be changing that. So just check the Google Play Store to find out what the application icon looks like. But we know that Google is right now using the blue phone icon. So once that is set to the default phone app, now, whenever you receive a phone call, it's going to use that app instead of Samsung's stock application. And that's how you can get Google's stock phone dialer application installed on your Samsung Galaxy S smartphone and Samsung Galaxy Note smartphone, whether or whether or not you have Majisk installed.